uh, Anne has been suffering from cervical dystonia for many years and she has this left torticollis and some right lateral collis. I injected her with Botox injection about two weeks ago on the right SCM, right upper trapezius and splenius cavities. Uh, what we notice in physical therapy is something that the physical therapist can apply in their treatment. Um, uh, I will ask Anne to try to turn her head to the right side. Anne, can you please try to turn your head to the right side? Okay, now relax. And you notice that she has typically turning her head to the right side, uh, even with the Botox injections. But uh, well, we found out that if we ask her to raise up this arm with, and then with some resistance, and can you turn that up a little bit, bit more? And you notice she can turn her head more to the right side. Now, rel now I want you to relax. And as we analyze that, I realized that is like a P and F pattern. So I think what we're doing, we're facilitating the cervical rotation to the right side. So I would suggest to uh, the physical therapists working on cervical dystonia that you can utilize the P and F pattern if they want to facilitate cervical rotation. So let's do a P and F pattern here, and I'm going to ask and to do some P and F pattern with some resistance, and also using her vision to facilitate cervical rotation to the right side. So Anne, let's do this. I want you to bring your arm up, resist against my hand, while turning your head towards the right side. Very, very good. So you can see Anne can turn her head to the right side. So I think physical therapists can utilize this type of facilitation to help rotation to the right side. Okay.